without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osirom gets special treatment, and now outlanders what from the savage East? What interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was... broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve... well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims. Especially the Asaran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. 
was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. No sign of Murad's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. Well, my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
for the Vanguard! Val says you gotta eat dirt. to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. 
I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. I'll head back to Meridian. I just need a little time. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Machine's been picked apart with precision. What happens when I turn it on? I think such a strange device. Beautifully crafted. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval, too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. 
If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? We can't worry about that now. All that matters is that we catch her killer before he strikes again. How much like her you sound. You are correct, of course. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. This is the place! You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. That's a lot of Blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Uh, so, is, uh, is, is that thing going to go off? If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of bombs. Especially being near them. Maybe there's some way I can open this. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable Is share of a good? lucrative opportunity? Bucket line. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. 
Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> Durval did find a way into the palace. I wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit, Carpen, you chuff. Someone's gotta guard the re- of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Look out! This isn't over yet, wench. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
Come on, then. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. 
Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <sighs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Well. I know. You know what? Now I see you. Try not to forget. I'll always. Two.